Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Friday the 25th, and today was a beautiful day in the afternoon. Started off this morning with a nice little rainstorm, it was kind of chilly down in the 60s. I ended up getting a few things around here done, nothing really major. Decided to head out for my run before it got hot, so I calling for the rain to stop and it to get really hot and humid really quick. So end up taking Bruce and I, we headed out in it. Got a little bit of rain, uh, more just wet roads splashing up on you, muddy trails, that kind of stuff to mess with. Um, at a few points, I actually thought that it probably could have used a jacket. It was actually like that weird, super windy, um, super chilly kind of feel in the air. And it's a little bit of rain going on, the humidity and things. It was just, it was really an odd feeling where there's a numerous times where I was sweating, but I wasn't sweating horribly bad. But then a few different times where I was thinking, you know, a windbreaker right now would sure be handy. So ended up knocking out a little 10K, just kind of running around, having a little fun run. I was going to do another marathon today. I talked to a couple of people, see if they want to tag along with me for it, even kind of like do part of it each, that kind of thing. Just kind of have somebody even show up halfway through and run the last half running, something like that. Nobody really seemed to want to do it. Um, offered a few people to even head out like on their bike. To just kind of ride along by me at different points and stuff to kind of just have somebody to chat with maybe carry some extra fluids and that kind of stuff for me didn't happen and i'd also like to find somebody if they don't want to do the whole thing with me to maybe take bruce near the end or take him even in the middle somewhere for five or ten miles of the of the run to kind of give him a break and then i'll finish up with him that kind of thing so since i had no takers i ended up not doing my marathon today um i Figured if I'm maybe by myself, I might as well go run somewhere more interesting, whether it's be in Des Moines again. I might run up to Cedar Rapids and run that trail up there. There's a couple different trails up in that area. I haven't figured out where I want to go. I technically don't have to run one this month. I actually don't have to run one at all. I just got to do 12 for the year. I done two last month, so I'm kind of okay if I don't make one this month. I've still got plenty of time to get the rest of them knocked out. But I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to go ahead and have somebody to run with. But since I didn't get that to happen, I'm going to have to find somewhere more interesting to run. I almost had thought about it a few times today out running during my little 10K. And I kept telling myself, I'm like, why not just go ahead and finish it? It's nice and cool. Um, you're right here at home. You can run by and refill your hydro and that kind of stuff. Even drop the dog off for a bit of it and all that good thing. But I just realized the fact that... This town is not really big enough to run a full marathon in it very well. I'll just be so bored running the same roads over and over again. Which, and there's nobody else that runs around here. So there's nobody, no chance of bumping into runners. No chance of, you know, getting that random high five from a stranger and all that kind of stuff. So, decided to heck with it. Um, cut it off, like I said, 10K. Came back home. Um, got a few things done. Headed out to the store. Had to get some stuff. Ran by and got some more dog food, and it's amazing how much money this damn dog cost me to keep him alive. Um, absolutely crazy. I spent as much money, I spend more money on him a month than I spend on myself for food. So it's definitely, um, that's kind of scary you stop and think about how much money I could be saving if I didn't have him around, but he's a good dog. So went ahead, headed out, was going to um, go see some people. Decided to heck with it, ended up going back out to one of the care centers that I go to off and on and went and saw the Alzheimer's patients and some of the assisted living patients upstairs. He seems to tolerate that pretty good. He doesn't really get much enjoyment out of it, but they sure do, especially a couple people downstairs and the Alzheimer's patients that are like super, super thankful when I bring him down to see him and are always like, be sure and bring him back, please. And I'm so happy to see him and all that kind of stuff. So definitely it's kind of a good feeling when you leave there knowing you kind of brightened up brighten somebody else's day that can do nothing for you it's always a good feeling when you know you're doing something for somebody that can never return the favor so that right there is pretty much the um, highlight of the day came back home ended up realizing that i forgot to pick up a lotto ticket that my mom wanted um when i was out so took the dog went for a walk and by that point we walked i don't know probably i don't know probably a little 5k a little more than that maybe and it was one of those deals with the sun out. No, I was just literally walking. I jogged across a couple of the roads when cars were coming. Other than that, I was walked the whole time. Came back sweatier than I was after my run, which was ridiculous. But it was absolutely just, it had gotten hot and it got hot and quick. So, don't know if she won anything or not. The drawing's over, but I don't know if she watched the drawing or not. So, who knows? She might be a millionaire right now. So, it's hard telling, but I highly doubt it. So, other than that, um, just kind of hung out, watched a little bit of Doctor Who. Had myself some nice um, homemade beans um, that my aunt makes up, some green beans. She makes up with some potatoes and bacon. 
really good stuff. So I ended up having that for dinner along with a couple other little things. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.